Doma Sports Talk Worldwide with some news from the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. Now, heavyweights, right? Significant heavyweights. I think your boy Joseph Parker, former WBO heavyweight champion, is significant. So when Joseph Parker fight, we're going to at least pay attention. Now, he fought a fighter named uh, Shondell Winters, which don't let me act like you know him. Man's 39 years old, just started fighting five years ago. You know what I mean? 13 and 2 with 12 KOs, right? Very small guy, about 200 pounds. Was all the way down to 179 pounds before. So, you know, he's a cruiserweight, but he's a game dude, right? So this is kind of fight Joe Parker having, you know, make sure that he's, he's trying to get a little bit more aggressive in some of these fights because, you know, like the fights with uh, Dillian White and Anthony Joshua, people would tell him if he was a little bit more aggressive, then he probably would have won those fights. Hmm. Maybe, maybe not. But, you know, it was a lot of inside fighting in this fight and that inside fighting didn't happen against uh, Anthony Joshua. But whatever, Joseph Parker coming in with 245 pounds, needing to get some work after that spider fight incident and with sapping your energy. So he just needs to be back out there. You know what I mean? Joseph Parker normally is known for being, um, you know, more active. So that that hasn't happened. So he's, you know, to get back in there with this guy. And they're very good. Right? Joseph Parker, let's be really. Joseph Parker won the fight, got the stoppage win. Uh, I forget which round it was. That round five stoppage. He knocked the guy down in round three. But let me tell you something. Props to Shondell uh, Winters for being game. You know, be, being smaller, but game. Super duper counter punching. And from his, uh, he, he landed a lot of shots on Joseph Parker as well. And he was in there, you know. So I was, every time I was just looking at this guy, I'm like, man, man, you know, you know, remind me of Tony Thompson, you know, so that big heavyweight, Tony Thompson, who the guy who came in, uh, you know, on short notice, fought David Price, beat him, then came back and beat him again. And then, you know, fought on Ol- Ol- Linaire Solis, the Cuban guy in Turkey, you know, uh, on short notice, and then came back and did it again. Right. And I was always like, you know, something. I wonder if it was, you know, somebody just, because you know, he's 40 something years old at the time, like 45, 46, 47. Somebody call him and say, look, I'm going to fight you in three months with a real training camp. I think Tony Thompson would have made, you know, <laughs> made a little bit more noise than he did. So when I see fighters like this, you know, uh, you know, up against the odds, uh, <clears throat> doing well, you know, you go for them too. And you want to at least give them props, man. So that's props to Shondell Winters for giving up a good fight against an aggressive Joseph Parker. You know, Joseph Parker was probably a tick slower in this fight, but was throwing some, you know, punches with bad intentions early, you know, which he should have in this fight to, to let people remind people of who this is. And he got a spectacular knockout in round five. So, you know, you know, I roll with Joe, bottom line, because I think he's one of the top five heavyweights, um, period. And uh, it's just good to see him, you know, in um, in action. You know, just good to see his coach, Kevin Barry over there, still. After two losses, he's still with his trainer. Deontay Wilder, after losing, about to get rid of his trainer, kept his trainer. Anthony Joshua, everybody was telling Anthony Joshua, you got to change your trainer, man. You know, you got to change your trainer. He came with a whole different game plan and won the next fight with diligence with the same trainer. You know, so that's just props to those three for keeping their trainers, by the way, through, through you know, good and bad times, because that's how it probably should be. Not after the first, you know, first disappointment to get rid of them. It's not, most of the time, it's not their fault. For example, Andy Ruiz Jr., you know, he got fat and where's Robles, things like that. So props for that as well. So congratulations to Joseph Parker. It wasn't a huge fight, but it was still, A, people that know role with Joe want to see him in action. You want to make sure that people are recognized. Don't just get him out, out of the picture because, listen, this is a guy who's a WBO champion. It is a guy who got a win over very motivated Andy Ruiz Jr., albeit on his home soil, but a win is a win, which means he was on the same level or a little bit better than than a, a motivated Andy Ruiz Jr., and that we saw that, that everybody isn't. So this is that guy. So keep your eye on that guy. Joe Spark, congratulations. Let's hurry up and get that next fight. Keep reminding people. Dome Sports Talk, worldwide. And I'm out of here, y'all.